you guys make sure you like and dislike make sure you leave them comments and don't be a hater if you're feeling my videos hit the subscribe button I'm gonna start doing more videos like this often but most of them are gonna be on my other page love and hate fighting the drum and in this one we're going to talk about an aggressive bitch that made a man turn down some pussy all right now there's three characters in this short little movie I'm gonna give you right three characters the main character is me the other main character is the bitch and then you got some extras which is her two cousins right so But before I get into that, let me tell you guys something. Now I know a lot of you motherfuckers is out there, like look at this motherfucker with his dingy, dingy motherfucking shirt on. Excuse me. Listen man, one thing you gonna learn about love on the hate one is that shows you. Anybody that truly knows me, I got plenty of bits. Plenty of kicks. But when you really got something, you ain't gotta brag about it, right? Or you don't have to show it neither, right? Right. Not only that, this shows you guys. I am comfortable in my own house and I'm also comfortable on the camera because I don't have to hide shit from y'all right when I make my videos I want you to feel like you right next here with me just chilling that's all I'm doing right now just chilling I'm off this fast this video man I just want to talk about some shit man and because people will be surprised how much I really know about women okay and another thing is this, even though this is my story, I feel like a lot of people can relate that a female that is too aggressive would be a turn off. Before I really get to the story slash movie, <laughs> I gotta hurry up too because I got my little sister, she over here today, you know over here today so I don't want to be on some she, like, she ain't got to hear this information cuz let's just say this is some radar R information I'm gonna let you motherfuckers hear you gotta be 18 or over to hear this shit or shit probably 21 and over let's get into this shit I'm gonna let you guys let let's get to the fucking point all right okay so this little cute Samoan chick I got on Instagram I can show y'all to her well I gotta tell you guys the little things before I get to the big things. All right, so downtown LA, right? For those of you guys that don't know, downtown LA is like an epidemic. Epidemic down there, AKA pandemic. I think those two are similar. That's right, I got my word play on game. But the problem with downtown LA is Motherfuckers travel to downtown LA and they usually go there first because they got a lot of missions down there That's why I be so packed down there. It's it's mixed with wealthy people and broke people Okay, that's the only spot you can kind of find like super wealthy people and Super broke people in one location. All right, you know, sometimes it's usually rich got their own little spot like Beverly Hills, Baldwin Hills and you got poor areas like Watts, maybe Compton, you know. Not saying everybody's there really poor, but you know what I mean. You get my drift. So, motherfuckers come all across the world to downtown LA, and the problem is, you guys, they get stuck to the lifestyle. The lifestyle. DTLA is very fun down there, you know. You never know what's gonna happen. If you get any drug in the world down there, Bitches come down there, it's prostitutes down there, and and of course it's not prostitutes down there. You got bitches that sell dope, you got bitches that smoke dope. It's you got a little bit of everything, DT. You name it to me, I guarantee you it goes down. And the best part about it, you never know what's gonna happen. So I buy me this little this it's like a six-bedroom tent, right? Now, I'm I'm not homeless, but I gotta start hiding the tent from now on because this fucking officer be fucking on me down there. He's on my head. 
So I got at least, when I hear one time, I got at least one in 10 or something, you know, just a little finesse spot basically. But for those guys out there that don't know, a six man tent out there is like, like a damn near house when you out there. Cause everybody else got two bedroom tents. I mean, not two bedroom, two man tents or even one man tents, shit. If you got a six to eight man tent, like I do, you basically the man. They know you got some type of money flowing in, all right? So, I basically have, when I'm not down there, I have people watch the tent. And I'm basically here. So I basically, you know, throw them a little something just to watch the tent. Not no money, you know, some product. Well, well phones. And I know you guys are like, what does this have to do with video? You guys gotta be calm. You guys know when you watch a full movie, it's not entertaining every part of the fucking movie, all right? It's called a buildup, all right? Now, so like I told you guys, the main character is me and the female. And the, the, um, the side characters, the extras, is the two females, which is her cousin. They're all Samoans. They just came out here. And they're, they're down there for the, for the moment, basically. So usually me, you know, I usually got females in the tent, you know, just to kick it. You know, some I fuck, some I just got some dome from, you dick. And then you got some who just, it ain't always gotta be a, a fucking situation. It can just be a situation where y'all just get to know each other, you know. Um, she getting to know downtown LA, you know. It's just like a, a trade for trade. I got answers about your state, you got answers about my state, you know. It's cool. It's cool like that down there. That's how cool it is. People like to mingle and just talk shit. And a lot of people is moving out here to get away from their boyfriends. It's some extra shit. They're abusive. They're real abusive boyfriends. It's some extra shit. Because of course you told me about that as well. And not thinking about downtown LA is a good place to hide that. Because so many people. But I don't have to bring up that part. But that's the fact though. So boom. So it's a little Samoan bitch, right? Some more bitch. And one thing that impressed me about her a lot, she was very articulate. Um, she was fly, nowhere near dirty, you know, had her fresh Air Forces on. You feel me? You know, cool little Nike fit, you know, she was straight. And her two Samoan bitches was bad as well. So, well, the, the bigger Samoans, she wasn't that bad, but she she was cool. She was decent. So now we got the small shot of the way. Let's get to the big shit. So I let her, remember I told you she clean as fuck, right? I let her in my tent, you know, we chilling this shit for about a few hours, and she just started cleaning up my tent, you did? Cause I left the tent for a minute, you know, sometime I leave, go get a cell, whatever, come back to the tent, and she had that motherfucker looking spick and span, all right? Now, don't get a choice, I don't leave nothing that magnificent in that tent anyway. So she can't book me for shit. And if she would have booked me for shit, why still be in the tent? She just got on, right? So I go back to the tent, that motherfucker spick and span, you know, and she's just basically just chilling inside the tent, you know. Got the founder and everything. Um, I go back in the tent, and then that just shocked me right there. The fact that ain't no female I brought up in this tent cleaned up shit. That's one thing about me, I don't like it, a lazy, a lazy ass bitch. So, I'm just sitting there like, okay, that's cool. But then, she told me that, oh, I cleaned Joe Tanner because I want you to feel comfortable around me. Now, I kind of picked that up. Don't get it twisted. Now, this is where the aggressive part comes in. Listen, you guys, when it comes down to us, males, we want to do the chasing. Now don't get it twisted. We like thoughts. We do like thoughts. But we don't look for thoughts for a relationship. Or we don't look for... Basically what I'm trying to say is we don't want to chase you for a relationship. But if we're trying to fuck, we might do a little chase. But see, the only difference between a thought... A thought, you still got to do a little chasing too. It's just an easy chase. It's like trying to catch... Your little two-year-old son who, who could barely fucking run or walk. You gotta chase. You wanna catch him, right? It's an easy chase. But it's still a chase. And they give you all the hints in the fucking world. They don't play hard to get for shit. But this bitch told me, I'm sitting inside the tent. 
she go outside because she said she was to go holler at her cousins and shit. She come back to the tent. And this bitch ain't homeless. She got a little SRO down there. She came back to the tent, right? And then she said, um, she said, damn, man, why? She said, why the fuck you ain't naked yet? Why you ain't naked yet? And when she said that, I kind of like laughed it off because I thought she was joking. I'm like, bitch, don't get it twisted. I just ain't never had a bitch just throw herself at me like that. Like, without me, I was supposed to, that sounded like a line I was supposed to say when I came back to the tent. You feel me? So she told me that. I'm like, kind of laughed it off and, you know, think she changed the subject and, you know, we started talking about some whole other shit, make a long story short. So she ended up leaving the tent again, right? And this time she stayed outside for a minute. I got a call for another cell. I hopped out the tent, right? This time I walked by, and what do I see? It's her, and it's two small chicks. You could tell they feel a nigga. You could tell she's talking about me, probably saying he cute some extra shit. And when I walk by this time, you know, going to go get my cell, this bitch gonna say, um, she gonna say in front of the three bitches. Now, you're not just telling me this personal, so I know it's official now. So, so in front of the three bitches, the Simone bitches, this bitch gonna say, um, damn, he said, um, this motherfucker right here just turned down no, some dick, some pussy, he don't wanna give me no dick. Like, in front of the deep bitches, I'm like, she had me feel like I was kinda like turning it down. I'm like, but then again, I'm like, I don't know you for today. I don't get it twisted. You sexy and all that. And I'm at work. And it's the frost on top of the cake. I really don't fuck in no tent. Now, have I fucked in a tent? Yes, but it's usually with females that I've been knowing for a while because I'm, people with downtown Atlanta have been knowing for years. People got spots downtown Atlanta. I've been slept in their house before. Come on now. I know a lot of people downtown Atlanta. I got a lot of homies downtown. And homegirls downtown. So, I'm like, you know, this. my first month, I'm like, damn. You Samoan, you too cute to be this desperate. You asking me for some dick like that? I don't get it twisted. Some guys will say, oh, man, you took, oh, I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. Hold on, I'm a dude that gets pussy. I'm a dude that can, I can get done whenever I want. But this shit right here just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. You dig? We still cool now. I ain't seen it in a while, but we still cool now. Matter of fact, I've seen her one time since then. We still cool now, but that just let me know it gave me the confirmation that she was serious. But I'm letting you guys know, motherfuckers say whatever they want. A girl is not supposed to come to you and say, oh, basically, let me get some dick. You, you feel me? I feel we're not supposed to do that. So. That kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't know the bitch had HIV, she had a fucking disease, and I'm not gonna just on the first day. Now she probably feel like, you know, once I throw this pussy in them, I can get some money out of her. I don't know what the fuck she was thinking. But you guys, that's my story right there of an aggressive female making a man turn down the pussy. Because the reason I said turn down is because I could have smashed. But I turned down something that was not a chase something that was basically thrown at me and you guys let me tell you that that is the biggest turn off you feel me when she comes at you like a male <laughs> all right y'all i'm out